Hello YouTubers, Jacob here, and today marks the end of an era. Yes, SATA SSDs like this here crucial MX500 are no more, killed off by this, the WD Blue SN500. This little M.2 drive may not look all that special or all that death and destruction-y, but packed onto its pint-sized frame is a single 500GB chip of WD's 3D NAND, alongside the company's own homebrew controller tech. And that makes for a mighty combo, not because it's the fastest chip around, but because it will set you back just 80 bucks. WD bought SanDisk back in 2015 for approximately $19 billion. Chump change, really. That acquisition netted the company access to some of the best solid state memory manufacturing around. And in recent months, WD has re-energized its push into the SSD market. Starting with the high performance WD Black SN750, the company has been shifting product away from OEMs and redeveloping it for the client market. And while the company remains dependent on the same SanDisk Toshiba NAND flash, a little tweaking under the hood helped it turn its top drive into a tempting alternative to Samsung's 970 EVO Plus NVMe, the domineering de facto SSD for high performance rigs. You can find a link to that showdown in the description below. But WD Blue Drives have always been about budget friendly performance, even back in the days of spinning platter drives. So let's take a look at what this budget friendly drive has to offer. The SN500 is fitted with the same sturdy 3D NAND as its compadre, the SN750. There's 500 gigabytes of the stuff in this version, but there is a 256 gigabyte version available if you're into that sort of thing. In order to keep costs down and retain its NVMe advantage, it offers only a PCIe 3.0 by 2 connection that theoretically maxes out at just under 2000 megabytes per second. Few modern NVMe drives we've tested have been limited to the PCIe 3.0 by 2 bandwidth, most dating back a good few years to the initial batch of drives. The HyperX Predator M.2 drive matched the 2000 megabytes per second bandwidth utilizing PCIe 2.0 by 4 but that was also some $400 when it first launched. How far we've come, huh? The WD Blue SN500 is rated up to 1700 megabytes per second, nearly half of the 3500 megabytes per second the Samsung 970 EVO Plus is capable of. The SN500's write speed is similarly nothing to write home about either, coming in at 1450 megabytes per second. But that's not a fight this drive ever stood a chance of winning, nor hoped to. Instead, it's a damn sight faster than even the very bestest, fastest SATA SSD drives, easily pushing three times the performance of Samsung's 860 EVO at 550 megabytes per second read and 520 megabytes per second write. And WD is also pretty darn confident that its NAND flash is up to the industry leading standard, rating it up to 300 terabytes written and stamping a five year warranty on the box. That matches the Samsung 860 EVO and 970 EVO Plus on both counts. The WD Blue SN500 gets remarkably close to the 2018 WD Black PCIe drive in sequential write testing, although it is hampered by that PCIe 3.0 by 2 connection during sequential read. It does retain admirable pace in random 4K testing, however. The 4K random test uses lots of tiny files, useful to simulate the millions of minute operations your PC is carrying out all the time. The higher the 4K random performance is, the slicker the general experience of using the drive as a Windows system disk will be. As such, the SN500 makes for a rather snappy primary boot drive. But synthetic chops doesn't always translate particularly well into the real world, and actually the WD SN500 makes up for lost ground in more representative real world benchmarking. It's well on pace with the best drives during a 5GB compression test, and loses few precious seconds during a 30 gigabyte file transfer. It's also pretty darn good when it comes to temperature too. And we can safely say it destroys every SATA drive we've ever sent through our benchmarking gauntlet. Sure, that's an easy feat for NVMe, the far superior interface, but the WD drive is complemented with a competitive price tag to match. Both the WD Blue SN500 NVMe drive and Samsung 860 EVO 500GB SATA drive will set you back $78 of your hard-earned cash. Same price, same capacity, except this one is three times faster. Granted, if you can stretch your budget a little further, Samsung's 970 EVO Plus now requires only a little more investment at some $120 and WD isn't without competition from the gradual influx of QLC drives into the market, 
including Intel's similarly priced 600p QLC SSD. But the WD Blue SN500 should be able to hold off the competition for a few quarters at least, and truly bargain QLC flash that makes its performance hit all worthwhile is still yet to be seen. And while there's still something to be said for SATA as a handy hot swappable media and the most flexible storage option if you're limited to only one or two M.2 slots, its days of boot drive priority look to be well and truly over now that the price premium of NVMe has been squashed. If you liked today's vid, then give us a like, subscribe, and smash that bell like your life depends on it. Also check out PCGamesN.com for the very latest and greatest in hardware from this side of the office, and PC gaming from that side of the office. That's the bit we don't want people to see for reasons we'd rather not disclose. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.